Good morning, everyone. They are in the studio, Moni Love. Yes. They are in the studio. And um, I don't even know where to start. I guess the first thing I want to... So, Tammy, uh, the first thing I want to say, congratulations on that song. Oh, thank you. Congratulations. Thank you so much. <laughs> and and you've been doing really well. Yeah, I've been trying. <laughs> you have. The song is great. Thank you. You know, and I'm, I'm glad we're playing it here at V103. Yeah, you guys show me a lot of love. I definitely appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, and speaking of showing a lot of love, I saw on uh, social media last night, The Ring. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> Walker's making us look bad. <laughs> oh, I'm overdue. You making us look bad. <laughs> so I, I, I'm. I, can we see the ring? So this is the camera right here. Show everybody in the camera the ring. Walker, <laughs> homie, I, 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 uh, homie, you making job. us look bad. I was bad. scared, man. That, was, that, that, that was hard to do. Really? He actually right. custom made it himself. Cause it was bigger. I was like, nah, it's too big. Nah, nah. No, uh, and thank you. Yeah, I felt like I was competing. And, uh, I was and competing thank for the you. I was like, yeah. No, see, and thank you for the that. Oh man, definitely kicked in. Yeah. And it, it, I had to wait an extra oh, week. This is a beautiful thing. I actually thing stayed right in here. New York for an extra week to get the ring. Yeah, I literally stayed. She's like, "What are you doing in New York?" I actually yeah. ran into an amazing deal too. <laughs> so, so does this mean you know? Does this mean that that you guys? I know you're on the show, Marriage Boot Camp, mm -hmm. and, and the show is really thank God for it. Though. It was has it has it helped y'all? Oh God, uh, tremendously. Yeah, actually, it was pretty good. Um, we it's funny because we didn't expect we thought you know we went in there not knowing what to really expect and mm -hmm. you kind of like oh this is just some tv stuff no black folk you know how we acting but we gave it a chance and we went in there we was like halfway through we was like oh this is real real it's like a vacation <laughs> wow <laughs> and these really? are real doctors <laughs> the judge was amazing yeah and judge told amazing. us she's like an auntie that you just like it's like when she come in everybody straighten uh -huh. up like yeah <laughs> but you but you found some of the exercises if not a lot of the exercises really essentially useful to your marriage Definitely. actually helpful for real for real okay it's a difference like when you're in the house and you're arguing and like no one's it's like you know say what, what happens in your house stays in your house and yes. you're arguing behind closed doors there's no one to critique what you're arguing you know arguing yeah. about mm -hmm. or, or to keep it fair you, right or to keep it fair so right. i just walk around always thinking you know which usually i am always right but you know what i'm saying <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute wait a minute <laughs> walk is she always right uh, yep <laughs> you could tell you been you he growing wow. up he said the word yep yeah happy yep, wife yep. happy life yeah I mean. but okay but 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 tammy i know you've been kind of uh Vi volatile at times. Oh, oh, you know what? You've been kind of violent and volatile. Didn't you pull a gun <laughs> on him? Did you say violent? Yeah. He, you he pulled a gun on your husband. It was a long we time ago. Put that on, on TV. I'm like, you, yo. We supposed you to be put here that acting. on TV. We tried to act like the no, first couple days. No, let me tell you something. She, I mean, no. We, you pulled a gun on him. That was so long ago. But he, he also said you threw a drill at him? Yeah. yeah but it wasn't, it wasn't stick, on. Right? <laughs> you like my mama. You know how your mama can't find since I hit you with the bro. Really? <laughs> but he shot me. We get out there. We, we had a conversation before we went there. I'm like, okay. you know, some stuff we just going to leave at home. Mm -hmm. He get on TV and tell these people I done pulled a gun out on him. I done bust him in his head. I said, oh, well, we what, talking, do you, talking. Do you, do you think that's because you guys actually, once you realize this is really ju not yeah, just TV, this is a real therapist, yeah. and you got comfortable to the point yeah. where you forgot the pact that you made, talking yeah. about we're not going to talk about uh, this or that. <laughs> it's crazy because when you're in this house for 17 days, there's you it's like okay with reality tv you know you, you film here and there and things of that sort but you're in this house for 17 days with a whole bunch of cameras hidden cameras there's only so much you can front mm -hmm. and you, you know what I'm saying so it's it's raw it's real it's uncut like there's okay no and, and on top of that we got to see like newly meds go through stuff that we went through in the beginning of our marriage yeah that was, oh. that was like the best we was like kind of like the og couple so, what? so so me getting really? to see yeah me getting yeah, to really see like were. people me getting to see people in, in their relationships i'm like wow i was like that wow well, Carmel, I, really they, I think that. they've been together for a long time but it's uh i think we've we were I call think we're married, just amazing like, i think we've been married the longest if i'm mm -hmm. not mistaken yeah that's what i'm saying Did they, like even with like soldier Nia, like it's crazy because oh, okay. it's like okay even though it's a way different dynamic uh -huh. it's like a lot of stuff he could identify with soldier because he's you know what i'm saying like he knew him for a long time right. he grew up in the same industry and there's certain things that i could be able to say you know what i'm saying it's weird because it's like even though we got a lot of issues it's like we can still help some other people too <laughs> did, did they touch on 
uh, how to gauge your marriage in accordance to uh, social network platforms. Uh, and, and, yeah. and because it can sometimes overlap and we're, cause we're problems. We're adults. Uh-huh. Like, you know, I don't think advice could advise us on how to be an adult. No, because it's interesting that you said before you were going to compete for the internet with the ring. Yeah. I found that interesting. And you said, I've grown up. I'm not competing but, you for know, the internet you, you but know, anymore. It was five carats. You know, it's still big. You know, it's, <laughs> it's, more, it's, it's more so it's like, it's like me. I'm not going to lie. I was a person that never had confidence. Even 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 being a celebrity. I find that so hard to understand. Even, even being a celebrity, not, not more so of like, Saying hey I can't do it It's like Uh wow I really did it But would they like You know You know what I'm saying So it's kind of like I don't know man I mean it is Once once Tammy showed me Like what real love was And real support was Mm -hmm. I'm like yo I'm a superhero Exactly Over my daughter loved me Like she I feel like Superman Mm -hmm. My dog see me They jump three feet in the air Like So that's something I genuinely never had Okay. You know what I'm saying? So when you get that, I guess everything you do, the creator making it happen. So you just got to make it happen. Right. This is more so too. Also, like with when it comes to like the the rap, the hip hop industry, rap industry, it's who got the bigger diamonds, who got the bigger this, who got the bigger that. And when he sent me a ring, uh, it was like a. Uh, kind of like example like mm-hmm. of what he wanted She's to like, do I was like you trying to get my finger cut off like what am I first of all I have small petite fa- hands yeah you do so I was like why would I get a ring that is so big that it covers up my whole hand this is big enough and it's perfect it's elegant it's classy you know what I'm saying I was telling him it's not about it's the details mm-hmm. so the fact that he took and is like so many little details in this ring besides the diamond that, I that, love to just sit and <laughs> listen to a refined couple talking. I mean, we were always okay, refined. Tammy, <laughs> Tammy, you done come a long way from Baltimore, girl. Uh huh, Baltimore. Incredible. Yeah, Baltimore. <laughs> you, done, you, you done come a long way for be more careful, girl. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's I, Baca, I could have told you this. If you'd have came to me, I would have told you how to deal with this. This is Baltimore. Oh, really? You got oh! to come to the Baltimore OG <laughs> so I could have told you. I could have told you she's gonna pull a gun on you. Yeah, it's Baltimore, coming. Baltimore you know? women, you know, they definitely love you. They riders. Yeah, they riders. They they stay super riders. We're hood classy. Yeah, there I like it is. Say, we're hood classy. Yes. <laughs> and and yeah, then you being from Jamaica, that. Jamaica Queens, New York. Come on, man. Yeah. yeah. You know. She's definitely. Hood it's a combination. <laughs> but I think if I wasn't so crazy, he would. I, he. I want. I want. We wouldn't be here. He he loves like he he. In, I think he antag. That was one of our issues in the house. He antagonizes me. For an argument, <laughs> because he wants the attention. Because, I think it turns him yeah, on. Yeah, it does. Def- yeah. the attention. I definitely want attention, but and it's definitely I love strong, you know like, it's funny because it's the right. <laughs> okay, can we, can we do this? I want to. I want to take a break. And one of the things that you accused him of is infidelity, mm-hmm. like cheating, mm-hmm. and things have come out. She, like she didn't accuse me. Yeah, you talking about? Uh, is it true? <laughs> It's not an accuser. Accuser is something when you're trying to hide something. Right. Okay. It wasn't like I'm trying to hide nothing. It's okay. Like, wow, I didn't know. It was like there is levels to this. Boot okay, hold on, stuff, don't man, go anywhere. We want to get into this real quick. We want to <laughs> get into this real quick because I mean, you know, uh, at the end of the show, they're gonna they're gonna ask you guys if you, you know, you ready to recommit. So we want to talk about that. When we come up next is eight twenty seven. Twenty seven minutes after eight o'clock, the phones are open. Atlanta four zero four seven four one W V E E Waka Flock at Tam Rivera. They are in here. Man, they're talking about marriage boot camp on V103. The ATL's number one for hip-hop and R&B. We TV's marriage boot camp, the hip-hop edition. Waka Flock is in the building. Tammy Rivera is in the building. We got a couple people want to ask y'all some questions. Let's go to the phones. Question for Tammy. I was just trying to find out if, if she has any new music coming out because I am in love with all of these kisses. Absolutely. I'm actually going to drop a full album in February. Okay, great. Perfect timing. Yes, a full album. Oh, good. Congratulations, and I wish you two the best. Thank you so much. V103, hello. Hello. Go right ahead. I just have a question for Tammy and Walker. Um, Since y'all were touching on infidelity, I just want to know, how did y'all regain the trust, and what's the best advice that y'all can mm. give. All right, guys. How did you regain the trust, Tammy? Um, I would say it wasn't. It had nothing to do with him, honestly. Like me regaining trust for him, because at the end of the day, I could still say I don't trust him in certain ways. Okay. But I have to trust. I have to trust my marriage, and I have to trust myself to not even go to the negative place in my mind to say, okay. He's doing this Or You know what I'm saying Because most of the time Even if it's Especially with social media And things of that sort Even if it's Because he has Had issues in the past mm-hmm. So where we are now 
I can't if I decided to move forward with him and and we're gonna work on our marriage, then I can't keep on bringing up the past and every little thing that someone accused him of me say, okay, you probably did do that because you've done this in the past. So at this point in my mind, it's like, okay, I have to have faith in my marriage. If you want to act stupid, you want to be outside and you want to be wifeless, then you do that. You get what I'm saying? But if I'm going to move forward, we got to move forward. So you have specifically made a decision. I personally am not going to slip back in my mindset. I'm going to go forward with my mindset, not dredge everything up from the past up all the time. Yeah, I have to okay. because it would drive you crazy. Right. And if you and if that's the case, then why even try to work it out? Okay. You get what I'm saying? Because now at this point, I'm putting the negative energy into my relationship. I'm bringing that. I believe in the law of attraction. I'm definitely a firm believer in that. So what you think it's going to be? You get what I'm saying? Right. So if I keep on, if he don't answer the phone for a few hours, I'm like, oh, I don't place him with 50 girls already. Then now I'm just, <laughs> you know, because we do that. Yeah. We're like, oh, I see him. I seen it. He's in the room. It's about 10 girls in there. <laughs> we'll put the whole scenario together in our did, head. Did I say that the yeah, other you day? Did. You we did. do. You did. Yeah. You we did. put it, and you know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, I'm like, okay. Women are good at that. Y'all be making the stories up. I mean, mo- now don't get it messed up now. We do have women intuition, and most of the time we are right. Okay. Majority of the time. So let me ask you this question, though. <laughs> Seriously, in the very beginning, when y'all got together and started dating, was that an, was that something for you that you were worried about? You know what? Um, because I've seen him mature a lot right. in the past five years. Yeah. So five years ago, were you worried about that then? Um, five years ago, five years ago. Well, well, I say eight years ago because we've years. been together you know for what? almost I eight years. You, you know what it was when we first got together? Tammy had, like, the first three years of us being together. She... She fought everything around me, from family to friends. So it wasn't even about like what Walk is doing. Okay, it was more so of like showing people that like, yo, is he if she here for the money? What's she doing? Okay, this, that, and the third. I think some of that and, was documented in the show that you yeah. were in, like and, in, in, back in the day. And on yeah. top of that, when we first got together, I really like that's right. At, that's right. Uh, not too long after I got shot, mm-hmm. like, I really just was being famous. So mm-hmm. I ain't know how I feel in it. We both we actually was experiencing it together. Mm-hmm. Okay. So t- by Tammy being in the beginning, it it, it it forced me to grow up. But I, I ain't know how to grow up because I was even around grown ups. And honestly, I kind of I'm not even gonna lie. Like in the beginning of our excuse. relationship, I thought he was an angel. You couldn't tell me some of the stuff he was doing. I would have you'd have bought me for a penny. Are you serious? I'm telling you. <laughs> He showed me a whole different side, and I'm not, you know, I've never dated no no rappers. I mean, I'm, you know, I've date, uh, dated, you know, saying guys before, but okay. I've never dated a rapper. Got it. So I'm not thinking, you know, this is a whole new world for me. Mm-hmm. So I only know what he shows me. So one day I got that phone, child. You could have bought me for a penny. <laughs> <laughs> you got the phone that looked in there. Yeah, this is like this is like eight years. I looked at the phone. I was like, who are you? Oh wow. <laughs> but we talked about this the other day. So you look through his phone? Yeah. Of course. Who doesn't look through their man phone? I mean, she's now honest. I don't. She's being I don't, honest. I, and now I'm too, I'm too, I don't even have the energy or time to look through his phone. Yeah. But before, of course, I was. I don't, I don't even got a pad code. I was scanning through that joint like. That's sh- good. That's really good. That's a, a fine quality. No, and, that, and, if I, and if I do, she know it. We got the same passcode. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we actually do. That just That's kill awesome. everything. It, right. It's just like, right. Like for me, what, what helped it is you just got to want it. It ain't, it ain't nothing else. I can't even tell you strategy steps, nothing. You got to want it. If yeah. you want it, you go do it. No matter no matter what it is in life, if you want it, you're going to do it. I just wanted it. I'm like, nah, I can't, I can't let that fly by. Okay. I can't. I ain't think. I I ain't think I'd find love like that twice. Period. It ain't matter what she look like. How <laughs> she feel, how, <laughs> you wouldn't. Have. Nah, nah. Just all jokes aside. Just from like things going on in my life, man. How, it just how everything played out. Mm-hmm. Tammy was just she was just that special. Wow. And then Charlie, I'm looking at you amazed. Dog. Charlie's a wedding gift. Like my daughter. Yeah. Oh my god. So when you when when she said just a few moments ago when she said she has a new album coming out and you were just talking like you don't like the music industry no more. No, nah, I'm not. It ain't that I don't like it. You know when I when I came in it I came in with so much love and I supported everybody. Right. Like, I literally supported everybody. And then when, when the tables turned around, I'm not saying they left me. The support wasn't wasn't what it was supposed to be. Okay. Because I put I put myself in a position to where I wanted to put people in position. So when I'm in position, we can help each other. Mm-hmm. But then people start going for self and the love. Then my best friend passed. Then me and Gucci and our whole thing. I just lost a taste for it. Then, my, then how people played my mother, how she did. We just lost a taste. And we was the most genuine, honest people. 
It's just like you know when you lose the taste. It's like ah. Yeah. Now I made. I got my wife. It's like ah, I'm back happy. Okay. One of my young boys just got out of prison. Prince Inc. I got Jimmy now. You know they putting it back in me like. Really? Okay. Because that and then was, you that did. Was, yeah. You, you did want to. You 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 stepped up and uh, said, you know what, you and Gucci, let's squash it, let's move forward. Yeah, I did that for me though, it, like for Gucci, like I, me and Gucci can never be like, yo, let's let's, let's go eat a let's go eat a burger together. I don't think I think we we so grown in, in our grown man ways. It's like yo, it's cool, like it's the energy, it's for me. I didn't want to come to this new year with negative mm -hmm. energy. Okay, I didn't want nobody ever to feel like yo, how I can feel. I want you to know how I feel. I'm not trying to say I'm man enough or you not man enough or you man enough. I'm not. It's like, yo, this is how I feel. But you're going to record again. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what the creator got going on. Ta Tammy. No, I'm an entertainer. At the end of the day, I oh, stopped he, rapping. He, love, he still go and record. Like, it's, he, it, he still records. It's, it's fun. It's like therapy. Yeah. the business, man, I, I promise to y'all, like, with 2019, like, I'm all for the community. Like, I'm not, I'm not a false prophet. Just believe that. Like, like I, I see what's Which going on. Which is why on. we need your music, yeah. too. Well, now, let me just say this. Music, last time music, we saw each other, can't do it. last time you and I talked and we saw each other, you were really big on doing the EDM thing. Because yeah. you were like, the EDM shows were just like, ridiculous. That money ridiculous. was too easy. Frank, it was too easy. I got blinded. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happened. I was doing EDM and I was being a father and a husband. Like, the EDM money was so easy compared to me doing rap. Right. That I had enough time to learn the business of rap, making okay. money in EDM. Right. So when I learned the business of rap, I'm like, why why be why be greedy? Why not why not meet five Walker Flockers? Right. Why not try to help five Walker Flockers? Okay. Instead of me sweating all the time. My daughter 13, I wanna be in her life. She growing up. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? She going to puberty. I don't need nobody telling us she's pretty, but the man that's next to her. <laughs> that's her Amen. Like I, that's just how it's going. Like, I'm that concerned. So now I got a lot of business. I got I got some I got some stuff that's gonna raise my Let's bro. go let's go to Kimberly. She's online too. Kimberly, you're on with Waka Flock and Tammy Rivera. Go ahead, Kimberly. Hey, good morning. How are you guys today? Good. good Turn morning. your radio down because I hear a little bit echo, but go right ahead. Good morning. Yes. I'm calling um, just to let Waka and Tammy know that I'm here um, kind of in the same relationship situation. Okay. I've been married um, 12 years together in relationship 20. And um, just recently in December, we celebrated our 20th anniversary, and we didn't even give a gift to each other, say anything to each other, mm. or nothing. Oh. So we caught it quick. But listening to you this morning made me realize what you don't walk away from. Oh. And I just want to um, know if it's possible for us to do a meet and greet of five or ten minutes just to see you guys in person. I've been watching your relationship, and I've been praying for you. I've um, been praying for you. And at the same time, it's like the prayer been coming back to me. So I just want to say thank y'all for sharing that this morning. Oh, well, thank Aww, you very well, much, Kimberly. You. I appreciate you know that. I'm, I'm always going to cry. You know I'm crying. How do you feel when people say that, 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 that their relationship is now influenced in a better way because of what y'all been through? I mean, I think of it like, I'm sorry, she made me cry. <laughs> I think of it like um, at one point we was so my relationship was so mocked, yeah, mm -hmm. and I was um, criticized for taking my husband back. People talked down on us and all that stuff. So to look back and to be here now and for somebody to say that we're helping them, it's like I know that God has us on the right path. Girl, get that mascara. <laughs> <laughs> I know that God got us on the right path. So. Uh -huh. That's amazing. Yes. Because sometimes when I do interviews and people ask, some things are unexplainable. Some mm -hmm. things are spiritual. And I like to think of my marriage, like I always tell people, my marriage was a spiritual battle. Mm -hmm. So for the outside, a lot of people would never understand that. Mm -hmm. Especially if you don't have a relationship with God. You don't, you don't, you, some of your things are out of your control. Mm -hmm. Some are things, some things you have to go through. I'm not saying accept things. I'm not a doormat. And anybody that knows me and my husband can tell you I'm a very strong woman. I'm very strong willed and I stand on my word and I don't take no BS, mm -hmm. but I fight for what I believe in and I have a strong faith in God. Right. And I was prophesied years ago about this man mm -hmm. and I was told that it was going to be a very hard battle. So, and a spiritual one. So I already prepared myself and I knew you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So to hear somebody else say that, don't give up. If you know in your heart, nobody knows what you go through. Nobody know your spouse. Nobody know what goes on behind closed doors. It's easy for somebody to say, oh, 
He did this. He did that. Leave. Nobody knows what's going on. Nobody knows what he got going on in his right. mind and his head. Nobody knows why he's doing the things he do. <laughs> and I'm not making excuses for him. But a lot of men don't even know how to be husbands. He's the first man in his family, like out of his brothers and most of his uncles who's ever been married. How would he know how to be a proper husband if he had he haven't been around husband examples? Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Examples of husbands. Right. So people say I'm trying to defend him and all that stuff. It's not that he you know what I'm saying? It's just You're my wife, you're supposed to defend me. <laughs> <laughs> y'all love each we other. You know what she means though. How much y'all love each other? Man, words. I don't know. I I'm past. I just told Tim, I was like, yo, it's like I'm falling in love in another way. It's weird. I don't know. It's like I fall in love all the time. Like we could be like, yo. I just love you. I'm like, you ain't love me before. <laughs> <laughs> he does. And I'm like, oh, right. oh man. <laughs> Yo, look at you. You fine. I'd be like, man, what, what I was yesterday then? <laughs> oh, that's all right. Hey, listen, I, I, I'm, I'm so happy for y'all. And uh, I, I, I see good things in the future. And, you know, walk. I'm just proud of you, bro. You coming a long mm -hmm. way. And, and you guys are, are definitely the example. So um, when can folks watch you? Every Thursday night? Is that yeah, what, yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. And then when is Meet the Flockers for crying out loud? That's <laughs> what I want to know. We're actually working on that now, the same, the the same process. It's going to be like a reality Martin mix. See, I got the little inside oh, scoop because uh, a close friend of theirs is actually my ex. Okay. Like, yeah. So, I, got, I got a little inside scoop. You know what's crazy? It's years later. He still talk about you, Moni. You must got some. Okay, turn the mics off now. <laughs> Turn the mic Thank y'all for coming through. We appreciate it. Waka Flocka, Tamara Rivera, V103.